So now let's start working on our profile uh, component, right? So I have opened up an actual Instagram. So let's have a look on how this profile is structured. So here we have this image and here we have this uh, the details, right? So we will be using Flexbox to align this, right? So here we have this div and here we have this another div and inside this another div we have some name and the post and the followers and all those stuff okay so let's do that right so uh, here i have this profiles first of all i'll be uh, writing div right right the whole div right the whole page right whole div inside this div we have this two div right okay so inside this or maybe i can put this two things this image and this area in a separate div right yeah that will be a more better okay inside this div we will have a separate div right now in this we have two divs one for image and one for the details right okay so inside the first div i can use this image tag img and i can self close it i will give a little bit of the style to this style and the width will be uh, maybe 160 pixel and height will be uh, 160 pixel and I will give a little border radius to make it circular B-O-R-D-E-R border, border radius and that is half of 160 that is 80 pixel right okay 80 pixel 80 pixel okay so now we need to put a uri as well right and for that i'll be going to unsplash right unsplash and we will select search for per as well person right and we want orientation square and let's scroll down and select an image maybe this guy right i'll copy image address and in here i can write src inside src i can paste the url like so okay now in this div i want h4 maybe with the maybe the name right maybe let's say ramesh verma okay and then i uh, then yeah let's let's save this and let's see how this looks like okay yeah it's 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 decent it's decent right now i'll be giving uh, the root uh, this div right so we have image in this div and we have the details in this div so i'll be giving this style to this div style and i will first give display flex not direction dis 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 display f l e x flex and justify content so i need to put a space around s p a c e a r o u n d space around right and then we can have a margin right margin that is 18 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from left and right and yeah let's save this and let's see how it looks like okay it's decent it's decent so now we will be creating another div right let's have a look so we will be creating another div which will have post followers and following and again we will give this div a display of flex right okay so let's do that so inside this div we will be creating another div div right inside this div we have maybe h5 we can use h five with here let's say 40 posts right i can duplicate that maybe 40 f o w o w e r s followers and 40 uh, f o w l o w i n g following and i will give this div a display of flex to align this all row wise Now let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's it's decent, it's decent, but uh, so let's 
so these uh, don't have enough of the spacing between them or I think I can here instead of h5 I can do I can select all the occurrences and I can write h6 instead right and what I can do I can put here justify content justify content and I can put spac space B E T W W E N space between but this will not work because they don't have enough width so I will uh, let's inspect this right and let's say if I give this width of let's say 102 percent oh uh, not this I'll remove that maybe I can give it to this div right this div maybe let's say width of 102 percent and uh, let's increase this little bit yeah maybe 109 yeah this is looking oh, maybe 108 percent okay so we can copy this right so we can give width of 108 percent like so and I want a little now a border little border right border bottom right so I'll add that as well so I'll add border B O R D E R border B O bottom and one pixel S O L I D solid and G R U I gray color let's say this and yeah it's it's decent it's decent now let's start working on the gallery right so here we will be showing the post right the images created by this user in here below so let's start working on that so I'll minimize this div and I can minimize this whole div right now I'll create a, a kind of a separate div in here div and maybe I can give this a class name of G A W L E R Y gallery and here I'll be using a lot of images in here right I am a I am G and I can self close it or I think I should create an array but first let's try that right first let's try that and I'll copy the source right I'll copy the source maybe we can use the same right so I'll copy the source control C right and I'll minimize this div and src control v we don't need this okay yeah okay so I can duplicate this couple of time right and I want to add a little class name to this as well right cla because I'll be adding a style right so class name maybe item and I need to add this in all the tags so I can remove this all the tags in here and again I can duplicate that okay so let's have a look so oh the image is not being loaded oh my bad what the hell is this Let's save this okay so now I'll be adding a little bit of the style right so here we can add the style to gallery and I'll be adding the style to item so let's go to our app.css now I will select first G A W L E R Y gallery and I will add first display flex display flex and flex wrap will be wrapped so that if uh, there is the more content then the the more content can start from the next line and I will add the justify content or uh, maybe space around yeah let's save this and let's see if this works oh I, I think I need to add the little width to the images as well so I'll grab item item and item will have width of let's say 30% right 
And let's save this and let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right. Okay. It's beautiful, it's responsive, and it's amazing. I'm loving it. Okay. I'm loving it. Let's say if I increase. Uh, I can close this and here. Okay, so we have this too much of the space. So I think I should add a max width to all this whole div, I guess. Right? Whole div. Yeah, that will be more better option. Because right now everything, it, it is looking ugly, right? If we, uh, here we can see we don't have, uh, here we have this like kind of lot of spacing, right? In this actual Instagram, right? And everything is on center. But right now here, we have this image too far from this text, right? Okay, too far from this text. And yeah, we don't have enough of the, all the content in center. We have this enough of enough space in this between. So I'll add a max width to this div. Uh, where is that? So here we need to go to profile and in this parent div, I'll add a style to this parent div. Uh, Style. Now sometimes I prefer inline style and sometimes I just go to app.css and write that because ah, it's 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 up to me, right? Whatever uh, whatever I feel to do, I do that, right? Uh, I prefer sometime inline style, I prefer sometime right, uh, externally, write that externally, right, it's up to me, right, you can structure the style uh, however you like, but it, uh, most of the time I write inline style because it's easier for me, for me to make you understand, right, so, yeah. max width and 550 pixel and uh, in order to center that, so I'll be adding margin, and from top and bottom that will be zero and auto you auto from left and right let's save this now it's it's very beautiful it's very beautiful i'll press alt shift i key i think it's beautiful it's beautiful okay it's 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 beautiful it's more beautiful now okay so i think we are done with this profile right uh yeah so maybe we will be maybe we will be now uh finishing this sign up sign in and this home oh we have left this home right so we should work on this home maybe next okay so we'll be working on this home screen in the next video so i'll see you guys in the next video